breaking news in the Cardano ecosystem. We have history being made with the UTXO bros partnering up. We've got the first ever bridgeless transaction. Yes, bridgeless, not just trustless, but bridgeless transaction between the Bitcoin blockchain and Cardano. This is all being done by three separate entities, the Bitcoin OS team, Sundial, as well as Ada Handle. As a part of today's video, we're breaking down all the details. Without any further ado, let's jump on in. What's up, Ada gang? Welcome into Adapt Central, your home for everything blockchain and crypto. I am fired up here as I'm finally getting back into content here. We're going to be breaking down a massive announcement that was just announced earlier by the Bitcoin OS team that not only takes their initial vision and executes on it, it adds even more, making this the first ever bridgeless transaction between Cardano and Bitcoin. Now, before we go any further, if it's your first time stopping by the channel, my goal is to help you find your footing here within the Cardano and Bitcoin ecosystems. You guys will be seeing more Bitcoin content here on the channel. I hope you are ready for a lot of changes. That's just one of the many coming down the pipes. But if you do enjoy that again, please smash that thumbs up on the way in. If you want more, consider subscribing to the channel. And if you have any questions or just want to voice off, feel free to use the comment section down below. Now I'm a stake pool operator here within the Cardano ecosystem. If you want to extend your support for the channel, consider delegating your ADA with either of the two DAP central stake pools, which both share the ticker DAPP. And in closing, if you're attending the upcoming or rare Evo event taking place early August or in the first week of August, please make sure if you haven't already bought your ticket that you use the discount code DC10, you'll get a kickback or a discount of 10%. I get a kickback and of course everyone's happy i definitely do appreciate the support there and you'll be seeing more content and coverage of the rare network and the rare social so without any further ado let's jump on and we've got a lot to break down here shout out to the official bitcoin os team i'll leave the official links to their x down below but it says here bosses we have done it on may 4th of 2025 we successfully demoed the first bridgeless not just trustless, but bridgeless transfer of BTC between Bitcoin and the Cardano, not just on the test net or the preview net, but on the main net. Now we've seen Charles highlighting the fact that Bitcoin has three to four times the liquidity when it comes to DeFi and adoption of networks like ETH, Solana and Cardano combined. So this is not a simple or small play here. This is the beginning of a massive movement when it comes to the connection and collaboration between the Bitcoin ecosystem and the Cardano ecosystem. Most recently, if you've missed it, I released some content about the fact that BitVMX was launching the BitVMX Force, which is basically an alliance, which included the input output or IOG, one of the core builders here on Cardano to really begin to push right towards a closer synchronization between Cardano and the Bitcoin ecosystem. So on the heels of that, on the heels of Charles's vision, we now have the team from Bitcoin OS delivering massively on their promise. Now, this was performed with Sundial as well as the Ada Handle team. And I'm going to be breaking down the fact that Ada Handle has now also integrated Bitcoin support. So stay tuned for that. Now, blowing up this picture here, and I'm going to get myself out of the way for you guys. Again, if you guys enjoy the content, please smash that thumbs up. I'm going to just briefly narrate this and then we're going to jump into sort of a play by play breakdown of how they were able to make this happen. So on the left hand side here, we've got one Bitcoin on the Bitcoin blockchain that is then sent through this bit snark here um, through the Bitcoin OS protocol. And that then turns out or spits out one XBTC. And then we have a bridgeless cross chain transaction that represents that one XBTC on the Sundial protocol that was then sent to a Cardano ADA handle. And then from that handle wallet, it was sent back into the Bitcoin ecosystem. So jumping back over here, it states that first, the Bitcoin OS team locked up one BTC on the Bitcoin L1 using their BitSnark protocol. They then wrapped that into a brand new unchained token called XBTC. Second, that XBTC was sent from their Bitcoin wallet directly to Sundial's Cardano wallet. And that was done with no bridge involved, meaning that there is no worry about security or sort of a uh, middleman or a potential sort of 
failure point in the middle of all of this taking place. There's no bridging involved. And initially, if I'm not mistaken, Bitcoin OS was sort of touted as a trustless system that included a bridge, but now no need for any bridge at all. So it states here that there's no custodian or vault of any kind that intermediary or that was sort of involved in the middle, a truly seamless cross chain flow for the UTXO bros. We're really starting to see the synchronization between Cardano and Bitcoin shine. Now, after that, the XBTC token lived as a UTXO on Cardano spendable by a Cardano private key or a Cardano wallet. Now to prove that they actually sent that XBTC to Sundial's Cardano wallet to an ADA handle wallet. And then from there, we had the very last piece where they then sent that one XBTC from the handle wallet back to the Bitcoin OS Bitcoin wallet on the Bitcoin blockchain. So basically a full circle, right? From Bitcoin to XBTC, then to Cardano, then to ADA handle, and then from Cardano ADA handle wallet back over into the Bitcoin OS um, protocol and then unwrapped back over into Bitcoin. Now, this reminds me of the early days of Aneta BTC. I remember making content two years ago about this year where they had a very similar sort of mindset and roadmap where you could basically take your BTC, deposit that into a vault, and then that would mint you a equivalent called CBTC on Cardano, which was then minted and sent over to your wallet. So that was sort of the general gist of what the first iteration was gonna be. But as I mentioned, with this brand new uh, version here, no vault, no sort of uh, bridging involved throughout this brand new process released by the Bitcoin OS team. So massive development here. Now, as I promised, we're gonna be talking about ADA handle here as well, where we now have the fact that ADA handles has added support for Bitcoin addresses, where it states you can now send, receive, dog, Bitcoin, runes, all through the ADA handle wallet or through the ADA handle standard through the Tokyo Pay wallet, which is one of their core partners. If you wanna do that, there's five simple steps. Number one, download the Tokyo wallet. Number two, choose an existing handle or mint a new handle. Number three, you can personalize that and then attach your BTC address to it. And then from there, you can go ahead and use that to transact between Cardano and Bitcoin. In closing, if you wanna find out more about the actual transfers that took place on the Cardano blockchain, shout out to the Cardano Explorer or C Explorer team. I've got both of them listed here. I'll leave the links to both of the hashes down below if you wanna take a closer look. And the team actually also released a whole two hour video of a developer breaking down the entire process from beginning to end. So if you're super technical and you wanna follow this from A to Z, you've also got the ability to do that. I really love the transparency here from the Bitcoin OS team. And that's not all. They've also provided us a play-by-play -play breakdown, including all the transaction hashes here for exactly what has taken place for the actual transaction. Now, in closing, they mentioned the fact that they'll be releasing a full white paper for unchained tokens on Bitcoin Pizza Day. That's coming up on May 22nd of 2025. Now, people have also talked about the moving of um, native tokens or native assets, and they are aware and they're going to be working to get that resolved and potentially demoed out here very soon. So I'm excited. But of course, we start very small, right? Taking baby steps here, um, moving Bitcoin without any bridging involved between the Bitcoin blockchain into Cardano and back. And again, shout out to the ADA handle team, the Sundial team and the Bitcoin OS team. Now in closing, I'll be sitting down with Sheldon Hunt. Congrats to him. He was able to get the Sundial protocol funded here through Project Catalyst. So we're expecting for them to be a big player here when it comes to the growing need for liquidity in Cardano and the growing relationship between the Cardano ecosystem and the Bitcoin ecosystem. If you wanna find out more about Sundial, you can head over to the official website. Again, links down below, but it's available at sundialprotocol.com. I'll be sitting down with Sheldon tomorrow. If you have questions, please make sure to go ahead and leave those down below, but that'll bring me to the end here for today's update. As always, I appreciate you all tuning in here, showing support, even when I've been a little bit staggered here in terms of content production over the last couple of days. I promise I am back and I do appreciate you all showing support and just really keeping me in good spirits throughout this entire time. I can't wait to see all the comments down below. Again, as always, smash that thumbs up on the way out. It means so much here. It's by far one of the easiest ways to support me here as a content creator. If you want more, consider subscribing to the channel because there is a lot of alpha that's gonna be coming, a lot of changes coming down the pipes. And as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or maybe I missed anything, feel free to voice off down below. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.